back to another Disney themed vlog. Today's is a bit of a pack with me um, and I'll try and give a little few little tips along the way. Um, I have now officially finished work for going to Disney so my excitement is out of control. For the last couple of hours at work I've been so busy I haven't really been able to think about it and then as soon as half five came I was like right out of the office on let's go. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited. Um, had a funny conversation at work today. Um, uh, somebody I was speaking to, one of my colleagues said, oh, you know, you're going to Disneyland Paris. How old are your kids? I was like, well, I'm nearly 32 and Mike's 31. I don't, I don't think he realised that I don't have children. It's just me and Mike going. But that's what we like. You know, we are big kids at heart. So... I need to try and remember to pack everything. That is where I do, I am a child because I really could do with somebody to pack for me. Um, I try to make a list. So I've, oh, I've just dropped some out on the floor, but it doesn't matter. I try to make a list and then take it off as I go, as I pack things. Um, so I've done a little bit of pre-packing already, not put in the suitcase yet because um, my stuff's still got to go in. Um, but I thought I would quickly go over an overview of what I pack and talk you through it because at least if I talk it through with you guys, I know I've packed it. As crazy logic as that sounds, at least I know it's packed. So first up is clothing. Clothing for me, I'm a jeans girl at heart. I literally live in jeans. Um, or my mini my Mickey Mouse joggers, which I'll show you shortly. Um, so I can't wear jeans when we're in Disneyland Paris. It's recorded to be up to about 30 degrees, if not higher. There's going to be thunderstorms. It's going to be very unpredictable. I know when we went last year, one day was glorious sunshine, the next was raining. So I need to kind of try and pack for all weathers, but I think it will be mostly hot. I think it's going to be mostly sunshine and heat. So I need to be mindful of that. Personally, I'm not a short, short. Hang on. I'm not a short, a short, short person. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't wear denim shorts that are like literally to the crotch. I think other people look fantastic in them. I just personally don't feel comfortable. I like a bit of coverage on my legs because I think my thighs are the biggest part of me. That's just my personal opinion. A lot of people probably watching this are probably thinking, no, it's just your own insecurities, isn't it? So I've got a couple of pairs of longer, longer denim shorts. So I've got these ones first. These come down to a a little bit lower than crotch so pro probably not halfway between thigh and knee um but they are like a straight a straight leg down they're just your basic shorts i got these from a charity shop in a village local to me they are originally from sainsbury's they are a size 14 oh did i do the test right there oh see if you watched a previous vlog if you know you know so those are coming with me like I say, they were from a charity shop, I think they're like a few quid. These are more of a paper bag style. They are elasticated, so they do allow for me eating all my Disney snacks. Um, and they're like a wider leg at the bottom. They feel a lot baggier on, um, which I like. I don't really like things tight. But these are from Papaya, which is a matte lamb brand. Again, a size 14. Um, these I actually got off Vinted. Now, as you can see from the tag, they were meant to be £10, which actually I think is really cheap for some decent denim shorts, like the pockets of proper pockets. They're not just those fake ones. They've not got a zip up. You don't necessarily need a zip, I don't think. Not in shorts anyway, um, but they were £3 off in it. You can't go wrong. Um, I am taking one pair of jeans just to be on the safe side if if it's i mean to be fair even if it's raining i did i did jeans last year on the day it was raining and my legs are drenched i'm thinking more for coming home if it's not nice weather when we're coming home or back home when we fly back into manchester if it's not nice i can just put some jeans on they probably won't get worn but jeans are my comfort blanket so i have to pack one pair just to be safe 
a traveling outfit i want to be comfy that's the main thing when you're rushing around airports and also when we get to charles de gaulle in paris um <laughs> we're going to be rushing around trying to find the train to get to where we need to be um so i am going to wear oh this is what i plan on wearing it could change um it's just a black very lightweight jumpsuit i don't know if you can see um and then it's got thick straps at the top um it's so comfy i've got it in this color and you might have seen it if you follow me on instagram from last year when we were in paris and i've got it in like a daisy print it's really nice it's just from georgia asda um so lightweight so comfy and i'll just be able to throw it on um for traveling i will probably wear this over the top i had this on the other day with the um with the jumpsuit when i wanted to pop out to the shops and it just it just feels really i feel really cool in it i'm not gonna lie um it's from it's the one i got from the charity shop in the charity shop vlog it's from gap it's just like a, a loose it's not denim it's more linen just like a little shirt just to throw over the top so at least i know i'll be comfy because i don't really like my arms god i sound like i'm so insecure about myself oh i'm not i just i just don't like certain bits uh, and you know when you you know what you like to wear that's the easiest way to say it um another big shirt i'm taking is just this big over white oversized white one which is the one from sheen again in the vlog with the haul um i just thought this will be brilliant to chuck in my bag for the days in the parks if i get too hot and i can feel like my arms or my shoulders or my neck or my like burning i can chuck this on and then i'm protected from the sun it's not too thick so it won't feel too hot and i just thought it'd be perfect and i love a white shirt i'm not gonna lie i just i think a white shirt is such an inexpensive look um inexpensive look expensive look god i'm losing my head as as soon as I've logged off work, it's like all my intelligence is gone. <laughs> what intelligence? Oh. So I've shown you the denim shorts. Obviously, obviously we're going to Disney. Um, I always make it my rule that if I'm in Disney, I wear Disney. Simple as. If I was going to Florida and I was going to Universal, I'd wear things that like Harry Potter or Simpsons it's just my thing i like to get dressed up and i think normally if you go in abroad you plan your outfits out so you plan like your beach day outfits you plan your evenings out outfits this is the same this is totally the same and i love a disney tee and shorts i just think it'll look really cool so the first one is obviously my little mermaid one which i got from asda the other week so that one is having its first outing um what other ones have i got i'm gonna take more than i need because i don't know how i'm gonna feel on the day basically this one i wore last year when we were in the parks again i think it's from asda it's just it's a very very pale blue um just a plain t-shirt and then it's got mini coming out the pocket really nice just a really nice t-shirt not as baggy as some of my others but still just nice um this one is just a primani one so it's got all of the characters on it celebrates the kind of the 100 years just says disney original this is just a primani one like i say um it is an oversized one so it is baggier and it's got obviously the walt disney signature on the sleeve can you see yeah um this one i'm taking as like a backup because i don't know if orange is my color i'm not gonna lie i don't mind wearing it around the house at home when nobody's gonna see me um but i don't know if orange is my color so we'll see about that one next one is just a basic white mickey slogan t-shirt i love this one i got this from m &S. i think it was about 15 pounds um i've worn it so much since i've got it it's oversized it's not see-through I can't stand the white see-through tops. It drives me mad. I can never seem to find any either. So this one isn't see-through. I can wear it just with over a bra with my shorts. Um, and I just think that's just going to be like a classic look. Then the last Disney top that I have is this one. Oh, sorry, Alfred. Alfred's come to help me pack. 
is this little one. I got this off Vinted. It was a pound. I believe it's a Primark one, but it's a bit different for me. So it's like a vest crop. I'm not a crop top person, but I just think that's so cute. And I think when we're in the parks, if I'm boiling that, or if it gets a bit cold and I've got that and shorts on, my big white oversized shirt over it will just look. Last items of clothing I've got are just a couple of dresses, just a couple of basic like smock dresses. This is just like a little zebra print one. That's from Papaya. Um, and then this one is from Sheen. I've had this years. Um, it's just a grey smock with frills on the sleeves. Taking dresses just in case if I don't want to wear denim shorts because we all know how hot denim is. It does not breathe. Um, so I'm just taking that as a just in case. I have also got some leggings to pack, just in case if it's cold and I don't want to wear my jeans, you know, if I, if it's like an in-between weather. I've also got two pairs, these will be for the dresses if anything, two pairs of chub rub shorts because, well, I call them chub rub shorts, I think the technical term is cycling shorts. Um, I'm not being funny, my legs don't have a gap and it, I am not putting up with chafing when it's that hot. It's horrific, it's the most painful thing. Um, so I'm just, I'm just not doing it. Um, I've also got my like leotard bodysuit Spanx thing. Sometimes I just, sometimes I just feel a bit bloated and sometimes that comes in handy and just helps like suck me in. So it'll make me feel comfortable. It's not really about how it looks. It's more just to make me feel comfortable because at the end of the day, I'm going to be doing very long days. Like we'll go into the parks probably at like 10 a.m. And some days if we want to stay for the fireworks, they don't finish until like 11. So it's going to be a long day either way. The last little bit of clothing, sorry, is, is more, it's not really clothing. Underwear, socks, obviously, because I'll be wearing, I'm going to wear my big platform trainers most of the time when we're there. I've also got, I'm packing. Oh, I don't intend to be working out while I'm there, but I have packed a sports bra because sometimes these can be comfier than normal bras. And I don't want to be uncomfy. I'm also packing my Winnie the Pooh pyjamas, which I bought from Primark last year. They're just so adorable. They're so soft, really lightweight. They're just really nice, really nice and soft and perfect when it's hot because they're not too, they're not too thick and they're not obviously like full length ones. I'm going to take my jogging bottoms which are mickey these are from primark quite recently i do i do really really want the jumper to match for winter um i don't know if i'll have missed out but i'm going tomorrow so we'll see if i can find it um these are going to be mainly for traveling back i think um if i don't want to wear my jeans if i want something a bit comfier them with just a t-shirt will just be lovely on the flight home last two bits I've got my Ted Baker flip-flops, which will not be being worn in the parks, but this will explain why I've got them. Our hotel has a swimming pool. I intend to get in it at least once because why not? It's going to be really hot. I might want to call off. I might want to get up in the morning and do a few laps or like the first day when we get there, we get there quite early. Um, so I might go then or similarly when we come to leave, we might have to check out, might want to go before we come home. So I thought, well, I'll take that. I'm not going to want to walk down to the pool in massive pla white platform trainers. So I'll take some of my flip-flops and they are my old faithfuls. I've had these probably about 10 years. I mean, you can't even see that it says Ted Baker on there because I've had them so long. But they just come out when I need some flip-flops. And I know that they're going to be comfy. They don't rub, even though they are like rubber. They are super, super comfy. The last few bits that I've really got to show you today that I've kind of already packed. So um, I've got my tripod, obviously, because I'm going to be vlogging. I probably won't use this. I normally just go hand. Um, oh, I have got something else to show you, actually. So I can't remember whose vlog it was I was watching, but somebody made a very good point that when you are vlogging and you are on a ride, because you can film on a lot of the rides in Disney, um, you don't want to drop your phone and it's gone. That's all my work, all my vlogging gone. So I can't remember whose it was, but somebody basically said about getting a little 
like attachment so you basically thread that through your phone and then it goes around your wrist and you know that if you drop your phone it's just going to hang but this it's from i'm just getting up my etsy because i got it off etsy so it's from the copperfield company um and you probably can't see this because i'm doing it backwards hang on let me turn it around right so i hope this is better um but i she actually personalized it for me to say Kelbell which I just thought was so cute. It's got like little pearlescent beads on and then Kelbell. So I just think that's so cute. Just a little, little personalised something for me for holidays. Right, we're back this way. So yeah, so vlogging wise, I've got my tripod, I've got my little strap for my wrist. Um, I am going to take an extra battery pack this me and mike actually bought from a uh, flying tiger in paris last year um because we would desperately needed some battery charge um and it lasts so long so when you turn it on it's got little flashing dots there so you can see actually i need to charge it i'll do that in a second um they they do each one of those once it's fully charged i believe gave me and mike two full charges each on our phones so that's four charges um it they're just great to have especially when i'll be vlogging all day mike will be on pokemon go um and they're long days nobody's phone battery is gonna last that long no matter how new your phone is me and mike's phones we are both i think a couple of years old so the batteries are starting to go um so a battery pack is always just handy to have we what else have we got we have got luggage scales can't go over those 23 kilos um we have got i'm gonna take my little gym towel i don't go to the gym anymore not gonna lie i bought this when i used to go um but that'll be perfect for just putting in putting in the bag for the parks just if you've got a bit of a you know you know people know people get sweaty brows and heads all the time so i just think something like that um this is also a travel towel so it's a microfiber if i can open it it's a microfiber one it's a full like bath sheet size um but it dries super quickly they are specifically i think for people going traveling like to vietnam thailand um when they literally just put it in their backpack and it's dry uh, so super handy would totally recommend getting one of these what else have we got in terms of travel accessories? So we've got the SPF, that's just like a standard. Um, one thing I will be taking, so you can get obviously adapter plugs. I know some places when you go abroad, they do have English plugs anyway. I will be taking these. So this has got obviously the USB slots in, which will come in handy for phones, battery packs, things like that. But I will also be taking an extension cable, purely because that goes into the forum plug, plug the extension cable in there. You've then got four or five, depending on how big your extension cable is, you've got four or five sockets, just in case the room hasn't got many plug sockets. Because we'll have my phone, Mike's phone, um, the battery pack potentially, um, Mike's watch, because he's got an Apple watch. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take my iPad, but I probably will do. Um, so that'll be charging at some point as well. We'll also have straighteners and hairdryer. So it's just, I take an extension lead everywhere with me. And I always think, people are going to think I am so stupid. But the amount of times I've been on like a Hindu and there's five girls in a room and there's one plug that gives you an extra four or five sockets. So it's definitely worth doing. Just make sure you take like a surge protected extension lead for like for safety because you don't want anything blowing up. So I've packed up my makeup, but I'll be using it tomorrow and Saturday morning. So I'm not gonna obviously go through and show you that because um, that's just makeup. Um, this bag has got lots of toiletries in, things like girl's best friend dry shampoo um all my like lip oils all my face creams my razor body spray just all those kind of toiletry bits obviously in there will go my toothpaste my toothpaste and my toothbrush when we get nearer to the time i carry one of these i got this from a charity shop for a pound and i just keep all of our paperwork in it now most of our 
most people bookings and things are on our phones but I'm, me and Mike are both the same. We're always scared that something will go wrong or we won't get internet connection. So we always just keep a backup. Obviously, all our Disney tickets and everything are downloaded to our phone. But if anything, should anything go wrong, we have a hard copy. I also take a little see-through bag with all of our first aid in. So in here, we've got plasters, we've got paracetamol, ibuprofen, allergy and hay fever relief actual blister plasters i don't really know if there's much difference between the two me and mike kind of just alternate i don't see really any difference and then some germaline like antiseptic cream if we do get any cuts and need a plaster so that's that um you don't really need much for a first aid kit i don't think because i mean we're going to disneyland so should anything happen while we're on site i'm sure there'll be a first aider there i will just quickly mention these clear bags I got them last year on Amazon and they were an absolute godsend. I use them for all different sorts of things. So last year when we went to Paris, I had one with my nail varnish in. I had all like nail related things. I had one with shower stuff. I had one with face stuff. They are ideal. I think I got about 10 in a pack and I think they were about four quid, but they are just ideal. You can apparently supposedly use them for going through security but i don't know how i suppose it depends with security who you get on the day because you might have somebody say no take it out and put it in one of the resealable ones somebody else might go yeah i can see it all it doesn't matter but they are one of the best things i've ever bought as well as this which looks really <laughs> It looks really dirty. I can't believe I'm showing you this. This is a little storage for makeup brushes. It's even got little elasticated things in the bottom. I don't know if you can't see it. I'll link it below in the comments. I'll try and link this and these because they are so helpful. Um, and I just think if somebody watching this needs something like this, just I find that in my in my makeup bag, I can't fit all my makeup and my brushes because some of my brushes are the big brushes and some of my makeup are in the big round tubs so just keeping them separate in that is just ideal and it works a treat for me one thing i am going to brag about is this the elf hydrating coconut mist okay this stuff is incredible i've had this so long but i've still got half a bottle left it literally does what it says it's hydrating so when you're in the parks all day Spray this on your face and it feels instantly refreshed. It is so nice and it smells like Malibu. I literally bought this. I think I saw it on um, Mrs. Mrs. Hinch's story years ago. Like, I think it was pre-COVID um, and I did an elf order and I just... And that's it. And I feel so refreshed instantly. But it also smells like Malibu. It is so... I literally could drink that. It smells so nice. Um... If you don't like Malibu, obviously it won't smell nice, but if it, it just smells so nice and coconutty. Um, and when you're in the parks all day, I did use it last year while we were in Disney um, because it just it just makes you feel fresh and just not so dry. It just feels so nice. Last few things I'm going to show you. So I've, obviously on the bed, I've got my big, um, this is going to be my hand luggage. I showed this on the Mega Haul vlog, I think it was. This was from Kath Kidston in the closing down sale. It's just a big hold all. You've got two handles there if you want, or you can have it, I mean, that needs extending, but it goes over the shoulder, just like that. It comes in a little pouch so you can keep it separate, which is now stuck on something else. It's thick. There we go. Comes with a little pouch, which then poppers on the inside. So in there I could put anything that I need easy access to really so they'll be coming with me um another thing I will be packing in my hand luggage this is the lounge fly I'm taking so I have five lounge flies currently I'm sure I'll get more because I love them all um I have a little mermaid one which is a smaller lounge fly I have two Wizard of Oz ones one which I use and the other is mainly for show I then have a white beauty and the beast one which is one of the pin fronts so you can store all your pins on it but the main reason why i'm not using that one is because it's white 
I don't want things like my green joggers or uh, my bright orange t-shirt to leak the colour onto that. I don't want to ruin it. I love a villain. I know it's controversial, but I love the villains. This has got my main girl, Ursula, right front and centre. It's also got Queen of Hearts, Snow White's Queen Mother, Cruella, Hades, another favourite. So this, and it's bigger. It's a bigger size, so I'll be able to take more with me into the parks. But these, obviously I won't wear it right up there. That's me pulling it up. But yeah, so that is the lounge fly I've decided to take with me. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to that. Obviously, the ears are getting packed. I'm hoping, if you've already seen the bucket list video, I'm hoping to buy some more. I'm going to take my book at the minute. It's called um, How to Kill Men and Get Away With It. So I'm reading this one at the minute. I'm probably about halfway through. It's really quick reading. Um, I'm just going to take the one book though because I don't realistically think I'll be able to read much. Um, but I don't want to not take it and then be like, I wish I brought my book. And that can just go in my hand luggage. So that's fine. I think... That's pretty much everything. One more thing, and it's a big, big tip. So the last thing is possibly the biggest tip I can give anyone going to Disneyland Paris. I mentioned in my previous Disney vlog that you can take in snacks. So in, in this bag, I could potentially put a sandwich that I bought in the morning to save myself some pennies. I probably won't, I'll probably buy Disney food, but you can take snacks in. One thing that I would recommend 150% is to invest in one of these, either a chili bottle or another alternative brand. I got this one from, I think it was TK Maxx. It's by a brand called Root 7. It's a little bit bigger. So I've got the 500 ml chili bottle one. This is slightly bigger. Um, Round the parks, there are bits, there are stations to refill water bottles. When you're in Disney, you need to keep hydrated. Otherwise, you'll just pass out, especially with the heat. But you can refill them and the water is chilled, so it stays cold all day. When you go into a park and you say there's, I mean, even when there's me and Mike and we're buying a bottle of pop each, it's like two euros for a bottle of pop. If you're buying two, three, four times a day. That's a lot of money you're spending on just drinks. So we take our bottles with us because we find that it's such a cost-effective way to keep hydrated in the park. So do not forget to take your bottles. Please, please, please. It's the one thing I can literally advise is 100% a must. It's a must do is take your bottles and refill as you go. So I think I've covered most things. I've obviously still got to pack um, makeup, shampoo, conditioner, things like that. I will probably use Mike's conditioner for a few days. We've got, um, he uses head and shoulders, so I'll probably just take a big head and shoulders with us and we can both use it, save on space because we're going to need the space to come back with all the merchandise. I don't know if I said it like that. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's everything that I'm going to be packing. And we've just got to hope that everything me and Mike collectively pack is under 23 kilos. I feel like I've been very selective. I used to go on holiday as a kid for a two-week holiday and I would take 28 bikinis. I was totally unnecessary. Whereas I think now, because I'm going to Disney, it's obviously specific Disney clothes. Um... So yeah, so I think I've packed well. We'll just have to see if what it weighs tomorrow when we finish packing fully. Um, I'm gonna go to the shops tomorrow just to get a last few little bits for the shop for the holiday. Um, just little bits like toiletries. I'm gonna get toothpaste. I'm gonna pop to Primark. Um, I might take you with me. Depends on how busy it is and how much time I've got. But we'll we'll see how it goes. I might do like a a day in the life of tomorrow um and just see how we go but the next vlog after this that i will upload will be a disney vlog so i hope you've enjoyed 
please please support my channel if you can please like the video comment below i love reading comments so any comments i get i will try and reply to i, I don't get many so i'm sure i'll reply to you um if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on and we'll see you from disneyland paris i'm so excited bye thanks for watching Thank you.